Hello, I'm Douglas, Douglas Davis. I'm professor in the study of religion here at Durham University in the Department of Theology and Religion. And amongst the many things that I'm really interested in and have studied and continue to study is the issue of identity. This very interesting word which describes how we think of ourselves, how we make up pictures about ourselves and the stories that we tell about ourselves. We are really interested in the way in which ideas feed into our identity, but also the way in which our emotions feed into our identity, and then the way that those ideas and emotions link together, work together, flow into each other for different people. How they find their identities coming together is a deeply of deep importance. We're also interested, for example, in what that means for particular traditions, so that then we can think about different religious traditions. Maybe you're a Christian or a Muslim or a Jew or a Hindu or a Buddhist or don't have a particular religious worldview, but might have a very strong worldview, for example, about the environment, about ecology, and especially in terms of identity, the stories that we tell about our family, our tradition, our past, our nation, those stories are really important in providing a kind of um, a basis uh, on, on which we live. We might in Britain, for example, talk a great deal about justice and law and getting justice and behaving properly. Fair play is a kind of a very interesting concept. What we are interested in, I suppose, is looking at the context in which people practice their ideas and feel their emotions. Religion just happens to be one framework that really shows how theories about life link with ways of living life. In other words, about doctrine and ethics. These are rather formal words, but basically they're about what we think and how we act. We can put together emotion, identity and religion and see it as a very focused way of study. And at the same time, of course, while we're studying other people, we are also really studying ourselves. What's my identity like? What's my emotion like? And what religious or worldview frameworks we have? Because every worldview has its own emotional pattern. These tremendous issues of religious belief, ethical belief, emotions, these are great issues which are best dealt with when we meet, talk together, and indeed it would be great to do this if and when you're at Durham University. That's a challenge for us all.